Welcome to Travel Smart, the insider's travel guide from Independent TV. This is the series where we share our take on the best destinations to visit, as well as the most sustainable ways to explore the world. In this episode, we're taking a look at Greece and the best ways to enjoy a summer holiday with family in partnership with Jet2 Holidays. Even as one of Europe's most visited and loved destinations, there's still plenty of room for discoveries in Greece. And one place that's ripe for exploration is the lovely island of Simi, which is new to Jet2 holidays this summer. The colourful architecture of its villages is one of the island's highlights with excellent sunset gazing viewpoints, beaches with crystal clear waters and traditional settlements to uncover. For the castle lovers, the Byzantine castle on the island of Simi was also the site of the Knight's Castle, built by the Knights of St John in the 14th century. The castle shared a wall with the ruins of the Byzantine castle, many of which are still visible. It overlooks the harbour on one side and a small valley on the other, offering a breathtaking view of the entire town as well as of the Aegean Sea beyond it. Of course, being an island, there's plenty of water-based fun to be had too, and Simi is a great spot for scuba diving. Explore wrecks and caverns, reefs and the remnants of sunken villages alongside the marine life. Simi provides the guests with some great opportunities to see the preserved ancient history of Greece. At the end of a day's exploring, enjoy Simi's food and drink offerings. Places like Miraclis Restaurant in Gialos Beach offer a traditional rustic experience. Greece is an ideal destination for family-friendly holidays because of the short-haul flight, local hospitality, warm welcome and glorious sandy beaches. Here's our roundup of the best family-friendly holidays to book in Greece this summer. Neos Marmaras is a popular resort town in the Halkidiki region. It boasts several glorious sandy beaches which have blue flag status, meaning they're ideal to swim in. Visitors can explore marina with restaurants and bars, plus plentiful shops. Porto Calas Meliton is a family-friendly resort on the beachfront, complete with a children's play area, kids' club, children's pool, outdoor play area, and a restaurant with options for little ones. Lefkas, also known as Lefkada, is an Ionian island that's connected to the mainland by bridge. The small fishing village of Nikiana is about five miles or eight kilometers from the island's main town, which sits in front of mountain greenery and has a marina. As well as private boats being moored here, there are several family-friendly tours on the water and activities to enjoy, including diving, canoeing and windsurfing. The island of Kefalonia is a peaceful spot where you'll find beautiful beaches such as Myrtos. There are activities for all ages, such as a trip to Odysseus theme park, boat tours to spot dolphins, and numerous secluded coves worth exploring. If you're looking for some Greek cultural highlights, you can't go wrong with the wonderful capital, Athens. But it's not all ancient history. Modern day Athens has recalibrated and reinvented itself to inspire the next generation. When choosing the perfect family holiday, there's plenty to consider depending on ages and interests. Here's how to make your family holiday as stress-free as possible. The main thing to consider when booking a family holiday is picking the right speed. If traveling with young or older people, pick a realistic pace and forgo the stress of feeling you need to pack everything in during your time away. The best way of accommodating everyone's tastes is to make planning a family affair. Involving kids or grandparents will make everyone feel like it's their holiday and it should avoid those moments where someone doesn't want to do something. 
with kids, giving them a project like looking at local history or maps should help get them excited for what's to come. Preparation is key. Ensure you're carrying any medication you might need, snacks and food stops are planned out, and that you have all the right documents in order, especially if you're travelling as a solo traveller. Whatever type of family holiday you're planning this summer, let Jet2 Holidays make it as easy as possible for you to get away. Jet2 Holidays offers great getaways to over 50 sun-soaked spots, including new destinations this summer of Simi, Porto and the Athens coast, as well as Marrakesh and Agadir in October 2024. And alongside a great list of family getaway destinations, Jet2 Holidays also offers peace of mind, being fully ATPA and ATOL protected, as well as affordable ways to spread the cost of your holidays. Price protect your summer 2024 with just £60 per person deposit and spread the remaining cost with flexible monthly payments. Nothing beats a Jet2 Holiday, the home of free child places, as well as infants under two going free. Terms and conditions apply. Check out Jet2 Holidays for more details. Time now for your travel questions. And first up is Megan, who says she's been traveling to the island of Rhodes for many years, but she's concerned about the effects of the wildfires last summer. Megan, I'm glad to say that I went on a pretty extensive trip around Rhodes to have a look at the damage and the aftermath of those terrible fires. I'm glad to say that from the point of view of having a relaxed, happy holiday, you have nothing to worry about at all. Almost all of the damage has been repaired in the resort areas. Inland, there are still some scars of the wildfires, but you are guaranteed a warm welcome and a lovely stay. And Ryan is off to Rathimnon on the beautiful north coast of Crete. Lovely place, by the way, Ryan. I love the Venetian fortress and the beautiful beach. But he's interested in a couple of day trip ideas. So, well, very easy from there. It's about an hour going east into Heraklion, the island's capital. Fascinating museum. And of course, just south, there's the ancient site of Colossus. And over to the west, Harnia is one of the loveliest settings in Crete. It's got a beautiful harbour. If you want something a little bit different, just head due south to the fishing village of Placius on the south side of Crete, where everything's a little bit more wild and wonderful. And thanks again for your questions. That's it for this episode of Travel Smart on Independent TV. Be sure to check in for the next episode, which you can watch on site, on the Independence mobile app or on your smart TV. For all the latest travel news, reviews and advice, go to independent.co.uk forward slash travel and do have a listen to my daily independent travel podcast. Mm -hmm.